The National Institute for Legislative and Democratic Studies, in partnership with Conrad Adenio Stephung, in a bid to strengthen good democratic governance and rule of law, is set to harmonize standing orders of the state houses of assembly across Nigeria. During the one-day workshop in Abuja, on Monday, stakeholders stressed the need to continuously update and unify legislative norms. Captain Correspondent Mavis Akor has the details. A gathering in the Federal Capital Territory to formally present the proposed harmonized standing orders for State Houses of Assembly, where the document is said to have two basic structures, namely a general introduction which provides the nature and characteristics of State Houses of Assembly and a more substantive section that outlines the concept, essence, sources and essential features of standing orders and a detailed content of the harmonized standing orders in a form of schedule. The Director General News, Abubakar Sulaiman, during the one-day workshop, stressed the need to provide a standardized approach to legislative management and lawmaking process in Nigeria, especially at state levels. The need to continuously update and unify legislative norms cannot be overemphasized. This should be done periodically based on specific needs, peculiarities, and emerging developments. Experience and available data show that the states as for assembly in Nigeria have different rules of practice and procedure, which are mostly inadequate in both form and content. These defects affect both the lawmaking process and the impact of state legislature in facilitating peace, order, and good governance within the state as constitutionally required for the vital states. Furthermore, the absence of comprehensive, coherent, and dynamic rules make it difficult for state legislatures to fully discharge their core mandate of promoting good governance and accountability through robust oversight. Conrad Adinal Stephen, Partners to News, speaks on the need to strengthen democratic procedures in Nigeria. Niels and Kass have, as long partners, teamed up to together finalize all of these efforts and meet here today to lay the foundation in harmonizing the standing orders. So there is a draft template on the harmonized standing orders, which we are using and discussing today. And the view of the speakers of the State House of Assembly is indispensable for this. So we are really the facilitators here, enabling the State House of Assembly to discuss the challenges, what needs to be addressed, and see how it can best be solved. And together, partnering all up on this, we want to make a valuable contribution to really strengthen the institution of legislature in Nigeria. Stakeholders also address the importance of the unified standing orders to avoid sudden impeachment. This harmonization, I think, is one of the, uh, the, the, the targets that we are, or we are, we are, we are targeting. That is to reduce or rather to avoid this uh, overnight impeachment of speakers. Speakers among the appointed or rather the elected um, uh, representative, I think the speakers of the Central Assembly are the most vulnerable. A certain members of the House, if they dislike you for one reason or the other, they will just come and say we, are, we have come up with a uh, certain number of, 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 of members, so we are removing you. But with this development, unlike it's well, like it's what is happening in the south is on the south ways, you cannot just do that in that place. You have to give the speaker the right to hear it. You have to give him the chance to defend himself. If you have reasons to impeach him, then come and tell him the reasons, and then give him the benefit of of, the, of, of fair hearing. Based on the like uh, the standing order is like uh, constitutions up to governing the. House of Assembly. Uh, in standing orders, there are some uh, columns that are not favored the speaker in the area of impeaching the speaker. So if we harmonize and also carry this column along in the favor of every, all the members and the speaker. So it is very good in Nigeria, we also have to adopt 
this uh, single house standing order to operate so that to abat some abnormalities that are going to happen in, in the various state houses of assembly. It will deepen democracy. It will make our work easy. What to do here, what to do in uh, Lagos, what we do, what we to be using in my degree, what you are using in my degree, what you're using in Akwaibo. So that deepens our democracy. It makes us work on the same path uh, of uh, democratic uh, advancement. However, it is expected that the comprehensive standing orders will standardize the lawmaking process and strengthen legislative capacity at the state level for optimal performance, thereby deepening democracy. From Abuja, Mavis Ako, Captain TV News.